guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm gonna be doing an audiobook haul. So in my last book haul, I forgot to include all of the audiobooks that I ended up getting during this time period, which is a huge oversight for me because over the years, I've slowly changed over to reading more books on audio versus physical books. So the majority of books that I read now are actually on audio versus physical or even able. And while most of my audiobooks do come from the library, a good amount of them I do buy as well when they're not available at the library or do they're just a favorite book that I know I'm going to end up loving and want to read over and over again or like I just want to read right away rather than wait for the hold. So I ended up getting a lot more books on audio than I really expected but there are a lot of really great books so just consider this an extension of my last book haul because these really should have been on my winter book haul. It's actually a lot so it'll make up a whole video on its own. So I'm gonna start with the books that I've already read. So this next book that I want to talk about is one that I've actually already read and that is Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. I absolutely love this book you guys. I decided to get it on audio instead of the physical book because I have the previous two books in this series on paperback so I wanted to get the paperback version of the physical book but I also really just wanted to get this book right away and I was already rereading the series in anticipation of the release of Jade Legacy on audio so I just decided to get the audiobook and I don't regret it at all. I absolutely love the audiobook for this entire series. The audiobook narrator is fantastic. It's an Asian inspired urban fantasy series that's following the family that leads a greenbone clan clan. The clan basically is one of the biggest powers in their island country of Kaycon and I just absolutely love the characters. They have really great morally ambiguous characters. I love the family connections and the family relationships that go on in the series and it also has fantastic world building because even though it's urban fantasy it has a very high fantasy feel to it which I absolutely love and I love the magic as well. And of course it gets really political especially Jade Legacy and of course I love political fantasy so this book just hit all of the boxes for me. This was one of like one of my new favorite series of all time and I'm just really excited to have a copy of it and I will definitely be getting a physical copy of it as well when the paperback comes out. So the next one I decided to get was The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I actually decided to get the new version that they just released that is narrated by Rosamund Pike. Rosamund Pike is the actress who plays Moraine in the TV show adaptation but Rosamund Pike is an audiobook narrator in her own right. She did an audiobook narration of Pride and Prejudice that I absolutely loved and don't get me wrong I do like the original audiobook narrators of Michael Kramer and Kate Redding but I started the audiobook narration by Rosamund Pike and I like it a lot like a lot a lot so I'm really glad I decided to get this also because I have access to the other narration through my library so I just felt like I wanted to try something a little bit different I am really interested in seeing how the book feels differently with the new narration so I don't know if I'm gonna get to that anytime soon just because I have so many other books that I want to read and the eye of the world is the first book in one of my favorite series of all time, the Wheel of Time series, which I absolutely love. I've read The Eye of the World probably three or four times by this point, so I feel like I probably don't need to do a reread right now, but it's also kind of popular because of the TV show adaptation. So let me know down in the comments if you'd like my thoughts on The Eye of the World or Wheel of Time in general, because I don't talk about it that much on this channel, but it could be something interesting. And I'm really excited to have this new version of it because I only listened to like the like beginning part, but it's really well done and I really love it so far. Next, I decided to get some Officially Advanced Magic and then a little bit later on On the Shoulders of Titans by Andrew Rowe. So this is actually, it's not part of my Kindle Unlimited subscription, but when I got the Kindle Unlimited subscription and downloaded the ebooks, I was able to add the audiobooks for only like $7.49 or something like that. And I absolutely love this series so far. I've read Sufficiently Advanced Magic and do plan on getting to On the Shoulders of Titans very, very soon. So far, the series is absolutely fantastic. It gives me very Tower of Babel vibes. Well, while I didn't like like symbol in a sense because I wasn't attached to the main character. I actually really liked this one because I was attached to the main character and I really loved the world building in the series. Not only does it have great action and an interesting character that I like following, the magic and the world building in the series is really well done as well. So I ended up really loving Sufficiently Advanced Magic and I'm really excited to see what On the Shoulders of Titans holds for me as well. And the next one that I got was Age of Assassin by R.J. Barker. So R.J. Barker is an author that I've actually only read one book by which was The Bone Ships but I actually really liked it. It surprised me a lot. It's a maritime fantasy and I definitely plan on continuing on with that series but I wanted to try one of his previous series as well. So when I saw that it was on sale I was just like you know what I can't find this audiobook anywhere else. Like I literally only was finding this book as an ebook or like buying the physical book which I wasn't really sure if 
if I wanted it or not. But since it was on sale, I was just like, you know what? I love audiobooks. I read audiobooks all the time. So let me just get it. It's on sale and I will get to it eventually. I do plan on finishing his other series first before getting to this one, but I am glad that I have this one. So these next two audiobooks are actually gifts that were on my wish list that were gifted to me. So there are books that I wanted to read, but just hadn't gotten around to buying. And the first one is A Spindle Splintered by Alexi e. Harrow. I absolutely love Alexi e. Harrow as an author. I think she has really interesting historical fantasy that is very atmospheric and well written. And A Splendid Splintered, I believe, is a fairy tale retelling and a novella. So I'm excited to see what she does with this. I haven't gotten to this one yet, but I definitely think it could be incredibly interesting. And I'm really excited to get to it when I finally do. And the other one is A Shadow in Ember by Jennifer L. Armentrott. So this is actually a prequel to the From Blood and Ash series, which I found the From Blood and Ash series last year and just for some reason absolutely loved it in a very guilty pleasure sort of way because after all it is a vampire romance series. I was really excited to get this because I was just super into the series at the time. I will say I'm slightly disappointed by it. I'm about halfway through it at the moment. It's currently on pause because it was just so similar to the original series that I feel like I don't want to read it right now just because the next book in that original series is going to be coming out soon but I will definitely be picking it up again later on and I'm hoping that it veers off in a different direction than the original series just because the audiobook narrator is the exact same narrator as the narrator from From Blood and Ash but it's following two different characters yet they're in very similar situations so it almost feels at least at the beginning like you're rereading From Blood and Ash even though you're not and it's a completely different situation but it just has the exact same feel to it. So I am still really excited for this and I will be getting to it eventually just not right away. And the next one that I got was The Palace of Illusions by Chitra Bandaji Divya Karuni. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong but I'm actually really excited for this one because this is actually a retelling of the Indian epic Mahabharat but it's told from a women's perspective which is just really interesting to me. It's also a fantasy novel so of course I like that aspect of it as well and I just think it's a really interesting concept that I want to read. I've heard really good things about it so hopefully it'll end up being amazing but I've never heard anything by this author before so we'll see. So now we're gonna move on to the sci-fi books that I decided to get. The first one was 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. Now come to think of it I don't actually know if this is sci-fi. I actually don't know anything about this book. This was one of my complete whim that I decided to pick up this book. It's partially because it was just such a long book and like when I want to read a book and it's that long I don't like to borrow the audiobook from my library because a lot of times I have to return it before I finish the book so that's why I decided to get this one. I don't know very much about this at all but I heard Murakami is a very good author that a lot of people seem to really like so I wanted to try his works and when I'm reading an author for the first time I like to read some of their most popular works so I can get like kind of a picture of whether I like their books or not before going into their more obscure books and this is the one that I hear the most about is 1Q84 so I'm hoping that I'm gonna end up loving this. Kind of along the same lines I also got Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I don't know if I pronounced his name right. This is another author that I've heard really good things about that people seem to really really love and this is the book that I hear the most about is Children of Time. Also my library doesn't have the audiobook for this and I feel like a lot of times with sci-fi in particular I prefer to listen to the audiobook rather than read the physical book. Sometimes I do like the physical book. It really depends on the sci-fi novel but it was on sale when I decided to get it so I was just like you know what it's calling me I need to get it so I decided to get this one and hopefully I can get to it soon. Probably not this month just because I have other sci-fi books that I want to get to first but maybe next month. This next one I've actually already read and that's Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I think I mentioned earlier in my channel I picked this up on a complete whim. Mind you I really like Andy Weir and I don't regret getting Project Hail Mary at all. It wasn't available at my library and I wanted to read more books by Andy Weir just because I really loved The Martian but I didn't hear that great things about Artemis but I did hear a lot of great things about Project Hail Mary and I'm really glad I got this one. Really really well done. I absolutely love the audiobook. It was fantastic from the beginning to end. Loved every second of this and I don't regret it at all even though like it was a complete whim. It was fantastic and I will be getting a physical copy of this book at some point in the future as well. And lastly I decided to get Mind of My Mind Clay's Ark and Pattern Master by Octavia E. Butler. So this one I first got Mind of My Mind because I couldn't find the audiobook for my library and when I read the first book in the series Wild Seed I switched between the audiobook and the physical book and I really liked that. I found with Mind of My Mind I actually listened more to 
to the audiobook because I just really love the audiobook and I think Butler's works lends really well to audio so that's why I decided to get Clay's Ark and Pattern Master on audio because I will be getting to those very very soon probably before this video even comes up because I have a tendency to binge read a lot of Butler's works when I finally get my hands on them so probably will be getting to those very very soon and I'm really excited for it but I don't have physical copies of those and I don't have them available at my library so I decided to just go ahead and get the audiobooks. That is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I post videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays so consider subscribing and I occasionally post bonus videos so if you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload you should click that little bell icon. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!